Tricky little boogers these things can be. If you got a Maytag and it's throwing that F1 E1, it could be that speed sensor. Um, but there's other things it could be. Um, and I had a comment about it being a drive hub and uh, that happens quite often. But if you wanna test this speed sensor, start by, start by getting it into diagnostics. Left, right, 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 left, right. And then you turn the knob till it shows wash and done, right? So then you spin the drum and you can see that it's going side to side. That's the RPMs it's turning. And that's how you test that sensor there. Testing these darn things is tricky. Um, Cause if you throw that F71, you think, oh, well the sensor's bad. Um, but it could be slipping, that shaft slipping inside of that drive hub, which is attached to the drum, which this is sensing. And so it can be very frustrating, um, but getting it into that diagnostic mode and putting it on those two lights, turn the drum, and then you could see the rotation from this sensor. Um, but those drive hubs, they can, they can trick you because it's not turning the shaft what's turning the shaft, but inside of the tub. And uh, that's where I've, I've seen them throwing that F71 from a drive hub and even from a capacitor too. So don't forget that. Test the microfarads of the capacitor. But these little things drive me crazy. Uh, <laughs> you weren't getting any movement from the lights um, when you spun the drum it's not sensing the rotation in this. But if you are, then this sensor is working. So it could be something else. Um, drive hub, could be capacitor, you know, but, uh, but yeah, that's how you test that little sensor there, putting it into that tachometer mode. Thanks for watching.